Hello everyone, so today we're gonna do the seaweed pocket. Uh, if you're following me on Instagram, you will have seen this before. It's a pocket I absolutely love. I really wanted to feature seaweed in my uh, ocean journals because they're so important for all life on earth really. They're, they're uh, the cause <laughs> of 70 to 80 percent of our oxygen. So it's just so important. Anyways, so here we're making the labels. I did have to go really quickly through all the steps because this took me ages to make. So there will be a lot of fast forwarding in this video. Uh, so I've, I've sizzled, I've done a lot of labels and now I'm just inking them and then we're gonna uh, find something that looks nice for the inside to write or label. So I'm using the Tim Holtz it's Distress Oxide uh, Vintage Paper for everything that is paper. I quite like it. It looks very grunge, grungy and distressed. So this is the result that we have. And now we're gonna figure out how to make it look good with my other um, like cuts. No, what's it called? Sizzix die cuts. Here they are. So I've made a couple of templates from book pages just to see how it would look. Yeah, and I quite like this one. But maybe without the corners here. So I'm gonna use book page. You know, from the book pages, we never really use the corners, uh, like the sides, which don't have any writing on them. I'm using a die cut I bought at Action for all the French people here listening to this video. Uh, I'm using. I'm just gonna like fold it and use that one little die cut thing. And since it's an old book page, it's really thin, so I'm just gonna fold it and make a few at a time. So here we are. And I think that looks perfect. I'm just gonna cut off the edges. And that looks amazing. Okay, so now let's just cut off the edge of all eight since we're making eight pockets today. And then I'm just gonna ink them all really quickly. So how are you guys today? Over here it's a beautiful day. I'm so sad my foot is still broken. I can't go and enjoy the weather. But I do hope that you guys have beautiful weather and are enjoying things. Um, yeah, it's so nice to have summer and spring coming so nice <laughs> okay so that's done and now we're gonna glue them yeah looking nice and we have the holes here we're gonna put some uh, brads in there so now I'm just gonna try out some handwriting um, just to write seaweed properly mm -hmm. And I'm using a Muji gel pen. I quite like those. I've discovered them really recently. I'm really, really happy about them. But they don't dry very fast. So you do need to be very, very careful to just lay them out uh, so they have time to dry. Yeah, I'm trying out brown gel pen. Uh, just to make it look a bit faded, a bit more vintage, and I quite like it, except that it's really uh, not very dark. But, you know, I think it looks nice as well. So I'm just going to use both of them, and now I'm just gluing to the, to the labels, the die cut labels. Alright. So that's all glued. Let's just do really quickly the other eight. 
I'm using a UHU glue stick for this because it's a old book page so it's really thin and it glues really well. I don't need my blue tag or PVC glue or anything. PVA glue, sorry. White glue. <laughs> And that's the last one and now we're gonna get on to the paper okay so I've selected a couple of papers that I think would look nice they're all like dark blue all blue um, papers and I'm just checking out which ones would be the best. I do need eight ones, eight, and I don't have uh, a lot of similar papers. So they're pretty much all gonna be different, which I think is really cool. And now I'm just gonna cut them all to the same size. And I'm just gonna do the folds so that it looks nice. So this one is a bit too short uh, because you know the top doesn't fold over the bottom. So I will change this so that the top folds over the bottom, which I think looks a lot nicer. Uh, if you're interested in the dimensions, I will put them down in the description box. Uh, if I've forgotten, please uh, remind me. Put a comment or something and I will write them down. Uh, so this is the end result. Uh, well, it's not finished yet, but that's what, that's what we're going to do right now. So we're going to cover uh, here the front, put a nice image of uh, seaweed and our label. So these are some of the um, fussy cuts I've made before in one of my previous videos and um, since the seaweeds are so thin and difficult to cut in the middle I've, um, I've tea dyed the papers where they've been printed on and this makes it look more grunge vintage and so on and so forth. So I really like the result and then I'm just gluing them with, I'm using tacky glue because the cardboard is quite slick, yeah, I think that's the word. So I'm, I'm making sure that it glues really well. I don't want any pieces to fall off these lovely pockets. And I'm doing the front first because I want to put brads in and I want those brads to be hidden by the, uh, the collage we're gonna make inside the pocket to hide that pink inside. Uh, I don't mind the pink inside, but this is a blue ocean themed journal and everything is blue. So I'm just gonna make it look like the rest of the journal. So we're just gonna remove all the excess from the sides. I prefer doing this after I've glued. Some people do it before. If you have a knife for it, that's fine. But I prefer to just cut off the excess. And now we're just gonna make some holes to put the breads in. Like so. 
and I'm gonna select to uh, what is it this is this vintage brass or something like a vintage metallic color and we're just gonna put them in and make sure they're really really tightly uh, attached because we don't want them to be very visible on the other side so I'm just gonna use my scissors and I'm gonna like open them as wide as they go and then just press them on the sides as tightly as I can so that they're almost invisible the smaller the breads the better but I thought mini breads would be just too small and wouldn't look so good so I'm using well they're not too big they're not too small they're they're just the right size and I'm just pressing down as hard as I can so that they're just not too visible perfect okay so now we're just gonna do a little bit of collage to hide all of this So I'm using this blue craft paper and I'm using my tacky glue just to make sure nothing goes away. So I'm just gonna collage pretty simply and rapidly um, with my tacky glue, my paintbrush and everything. So I'm using uh, diverse papers, book pages, brown papers from bags and um, you know packaging and stuff. I'm just making a collage. Most of it is going to be hidden away anyway, so it doesn't really matter. All that matters is that it's different and that it hides the pink color from the background. And I do like to have a lot of different textures, so I'm using different brown papers, different book pages, different blue pages as well. I'm just using a lot of different stuff. And I have forgotten to put something here to uh, be able to close this page. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to glue this uh, thread it's a paper thread and when it's dry I will hide it with a piece of um, tissue as well and I'm gonna put a little seaweed at the back as well so that it looks nice and what I'm doing here is I'm gluing another piece of um, so here I am hiding the top one and at the bottom um, fussy cutting all around it. Removing all the excess and making sure you don't cut the thread that you've just added in. Just gonna do a bit more book pages. This is from my the my the book I prefer right now. Uh, it's about uh, Brittany Lore. It's um, it's beautiful. It's all about like druids and mermaids and enchantresses, and it's all from my place of origin, which is Brittany in France, and it's just so beautiful. Last piece. I'm 
just make sure you get all the corners right. Okay, and now I'm going to put a closure. So this I haven't done for all of them. Uh, I figured out a better way, better way to close uh, the other ones I will show you later. All right. So next my idea is to add a little writing pad inside the pocket. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it for all eight other ones. I'm going to do the same collage inside and and hide some of these other colors that are inside. Okay, so this is for the um, little booklets I'm doing inside. So I'm just going to sew them at the top. I've put quite a lot of different colors, different types of papers from book pages, uh, sorry, some from notebooks and stuff. Another thing I wanted to add was this die cut of a uh, plant. To me it looks a lot like seaweed and I found this lovely um, emerald green paper and I thought it was just perfect news for my new Sizzix. So I'm gonna add this uh, die cut inside. I think it looks perfect, it looks really really nice and it's perfectly in tune with the theme of our pocket. And this, of course, you can use it however you want. If you want to glue it in your journal or whatever, you're free to use them as you want. And I hope you will like them. I really loved using my Sizzix to do this. And this is our final step. So now we're just going to assemble everything. I'm going to put this little paper ta uh, paper notebook in a way and we're gonna put the closure of course so I want to make a button and this is what I found to be the perfect size for my button uh, because of course I don't have every single punch thing and of course it's never the size you want so this is what I'm going to be using and I'm just gonna go and cut two pieces for each uh, of the pockets and I'm just gonna glue them together so next we're gonna fussy cut the circles And then we're just gonna glue them together with my tacky glue. Just gonna put a little bit in the middle. And since the back, which is uh, from, you know, food, cardboard stuff, is not gonna be visible, I'm just gonna glue uh, the back to the front so that it glues perfectly well. And I'm using this cloth to remove all the excess glue. I really recommend that you have some cloth at hand. It's very handy, very important. You're always putting glue everywhere. And I am going to glue this fussy cut of uh, seaweed to the notebook paper. The first page is um, transparent tracing paper. And I thought it would look really nice to just have this um, CLG glued on the tracing paper. Yeah, that looks lovely. And then I've done this, uh, this is going to be part of the kit, so it says it's thought that 70 or 80% uh, 
of our world oxygen is created by marine algae, algae, seaweed. Uh, so I'm just gonna ink it to make sure the corners and the white paper doesn't show and then I'm just gonna glue it at the top here somewhere and I have this fussy cut as well and I thought I would use it as well because I think it looks beautiful and it's a vintage image of a marine seaweed uh, that I'm gonna glue as well with my UHU stick favorite stick <laughs> I really hope you guys are liking these series. This is gonna be one of my last videos, video tutorials. I mean, it's I'm getting to the end of these humongous, humongous projects. Um, so there will be a few afterwards, but like I will of course show the flip through of the finished journals, of course. But yeah, let me know if you've liked this and if you would like me to do this uh, for the future journals I make. Uh, and especially if you guys have other ideas of like themes I should use. Uh, you know, I thought like of a desert theme journal and there's loads of other ideas. Bohemian, of course, loads more. So if you have any ideas, just let me know. I would love to just try it out. And this is our die cut. I'm just making a little bit smaller so that it fits properly in the pocket. Just a tiny bit smaller. That's perfect. And then I'm just going to put something, some nice cloth. A uh, piece of ribbon or uh, or something. So these are all my ribbons. Sometimes I wish I had more. <laughs> you never find what you want. Too brown. Ah, this looks nice. Yeah, let's just use this one. I'm just gonna put it through, cut off the pieces that are damaged, and then put it through the card uh, tag. Sorry, and I'm gonna um, burn a bit the end so that I make sure they don't fray. Perfect. I like this color, it's quite nice. Of course, if I find something that looks even better, I will change it as I make my uh, journals. Now let's do the closure. So I'm just gonna ink the sides so it looks a little bit more aged. And I'm making also the middle and pretty much everything so that it changes a little bit the color from the grayish 
uh, that we have in all the packaging to this lovely color. And then I'm gonna figure out where the middle is and poke a hole using my cropper dial. And I'm gonna use the smaller setting, the smallest hole, and use a tiny little um, eyelet. Um, well, problematically, I only have big eyelets, and I fear this is just way too big. It just won't look good with my tiny little button. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use these ones. So they're silver, they're the perfect size. And I'm just gonna go and get my, um, these, they're uh, alcohol ink pen, pen, brush pens. And I'm just gonna color my their twin marker and I bought them at Xtreme as well. And I'm just gonna color the, the eyelet, uh, the same color as the brad, so I'm just trying out which of the brown uh, brush pens would be the best for this. Okay. Okay, so now let's just make the hole. I'm using the smaller setting. Done. and we need to figure out where the center is to put our button. So I'm gonna make I'll make the button first just to make sure I put it exactly where I want it to be because otherwise you could get a bad surprise because the button hasn't you haven't thought about the button you know. I'm just making sure it's dead middle and it is. Well done. Okay, and now let's just attach it with the eyelet. And the color just looks perfect to me. Okay. making sure everything is fine and that's just perfect so I'm just gonna do a little touch uh, at the bottom and make sure I flatten uh, these bits as flat as I can so that they don't damage anything and now I'm just gonna color them so that the whole brats is pretty much the same color and we don't have some silver on one side and bronze on the other so yeah that's pretty good just making sure the inside is also covered and as you can see the color is it's looking fabulous <laughs> all right So now let's just glue the uh, little notepad. I'm using tacky glue just to make sure everything sticks really well and it doesn't move out. All right, just making sure it's everywhere. And then you would think this was already finished, but it is not. Next, I'm gonna add something to this. Uh, oh yeah, I have to trim here just to make sure everything folds properly, my pocket folds properly. This is a little bit too long. Just 
gonna trim it really quickly. Yeah. And then we can add everything inside. And that looks amazing. Yeah, and next, I'm gonna add something here, like a dangle. Love dangles. So I got this uh, from a thrift, short, a thrift shop, and I noticed there were some seashells inside. So I'm just gonna have a look what we have. There's quite a lot of stuff. And there's some stuff that just has nothing to do with uh, my sea, ocean, marine theme. So I'm just gonna put them aside. I have no idea what these are, but I think they're to put, you know, like diamond things, you know, like uh, Pierre Sorti. I'm gonna have to figure that out. Okay, I'm gonna go a little bit faster now, just because uh, this video is getting really, really long. And I hope you guys are not too bored. Uh, there's some really cute stuff in this kit. And here is a lot, we have a lot of um, sea stars. So I thought I would use these, they look super cute. And I'm just gonna use some of my beads that I have. So I was thinking, of course, some blue, greenish, I mean, ocean colors, of course. Maybe some browns as well. You know, just to give it a little bit of an accent, uh, like a reminder of the seaweed that can be brown and stuff. Uh, tip, if you can't put a bead through um, um, a thread because it's too big or something, you can always put a tiny drop of glue, just do this as I do in the video, and then you can just push, push it through. You might have to do this a couple of times just to make sure that all the threads of the uh, all the tiny threads from the thread are all attached together or glued together. Okay, and now let's figure out what the perfect size is and make a little knot. Yeah, that looks nice. I'm gonna make a double triple knot just to make sure it doesn't move away, doesn't come off. And I'm gonna pass it through the first bead. Our uh, first bead has a pretty big hole, so that's really useful. The second one, not so much, so I'm not gonna be able to pass through that one again. But you know me, I'm still gonna try to go through, <laughs> of course, and I will not succeed because the hole is too tiny and it's just not gonna go through. Uh, so this is coming to an end. I hope you've loved it. Please don't forget to subscribe, like the video, uh, press the little bell button if you want to be aware of my next tutorials and uh, journal with me videos. Yeah, I'm just gonna cut up the excess here. And this is done. So our pocket done, it's gonna be in all the eight journals I've made. And well, this is the end of the video and I will see you guys really, really soon. And that's what's inside, of course. Bye guys, thanks for watching.